Let's have a little bit of a chat right here, a little cozy here for you. So we know we're a little bit serious on this. I've covered a lot of microphones on this channel. I've covered a lot of budget microphones. And of course, microphones and audio is going to be my main focus because it's my main skill set. Uh, but there are some microphones and some things that may not be my go-to for something that I would uh, recommend. And that is what we're going to cover in this video. A cheap and a very affordable option for your microphone and your content creation, possibly streaming, possibly something else. But we're going to get into a very cheap and very affordable microphone for you guys. Welcome back to the Rebel Tech Channel. I'm Justin, and in this video, we're going to be covering the newer. CM14, I can't remember model numbers on this channel because it's just very difficult for me, so I'm checking out my outline for this video. So, we're going to be covering that microphone and comparing it to a couple of other microphones that uh, you may use in similar situations. And of course, I don't have other options, meaning I don't have other top of the camera microphones to plug in to compare it to but maybe in the future i will pick up a sure and maybe i'll pick up a road uh those are very popular and very um good quality as far as i've heard on plenty of uh videos and content creators have used all these things and this is just a budget option that you might want uh to start out with it's definitely not something that you're going to stick with but it could be something to start out with so the first thing I want to get into is the build quality of this microphone. It's a wee little thing and it really is something that's very compact and it's something that you can uh, use without having to worry about it being in the shot or having to worry about it being heavy or whatever it is. So when I first saw it, it was surprisingly well built, the microphone itself. Now that's where the quality for the build really ends because the hot shoe mount it's nice, but it's a little bit flimsy and very cheap plastic. Uh, the thing that it does have going for it is it's a hot shoe slash quarter inch option, which is very clutch. I love that. Everybody should have a quarter inch option underneath your hot shoe because options. You could always put it on something else. You could put it on a mic stand or whatever. Now, one more thing on the build of things that come with this. Uh, there is a foam windscreen and a dead cat that come along with it. And I have used the dead cat in a video for the Octava, which I'm running right now. If you've seen in the top corner, I'm running three microphones right now with the newer being the main focus. But I'm switching between the three uh, meaning the Sennheiser, the Octava, and now the newer. And that's a big price difference. Uh, we got a newer one, which is roughly between 30 or maybe like 20 and 30 bucks, uh, depending on when you get it or depending on uh, if there's a sale or whatever on it. And then you got a $300 microphone and a $1,000 microphone. So is it really that fair? No, it's not fair, but it's a good to have a baseline of where your audio quality is. Now, of course, it's a big price difference, big quality difference. So I'm not looking to see if it's competing with them. I'm just giving you a good baseline for you to compare them to uh, for future things. One more thing, we're not going to be doing any techie talk because it's kind of the frequency response curve is not that great uh, talking about it. So we're just going to focus on how it sounds. Uh, two things I want to mention. It's a unidirectional pattern, which is basically cardioid. And also your max XPL is 110 on the decibels. Uh, 30 less than an AT2020, just to have a little bit of a comparison of something within that budget uh, microphone option. All right, so we're in the booth right now, and this is definitely not an area where you would use this microphone, but I was very curious to see if this microphone would be a good option for a room that's better treated, and this is the closest thing I got to a well-treated area. So I'm not really doing this for anything other than curiosity to be completely honest with you and transparent but this gives you an option to uh consider maybe if you want to take a shot at it as a voiceover microphone 
cool. I just looked up the price right now, and I think it's like 25 bucks with a 30% coupon, uh, which is probably like 18 bucks or something like that, if my math is right. So, maybe? Possibly? Let me know what you think. It might sound good. It might sound crappy. I'm not really sure. Uh, if you guys think this is any good as a voiceover microphone and you want me to put it up against something uh, more professional, uh, of course, I have the Octava right now, talking into it right now, and um, the Sennheiser right next to it as well. So these two microphones are definitely microphones that you would have in the booth if you were doing voiceover work professionally or if you're doing voiceover work for something personal that you want good quality for but this microphone up there on the newer i don't know I, I this is just an option uh this is really for vlogging on a budget and seeing if it's something uh that could be used as opposed to those sure microphones the uh, road microphones that are very popular with vloggers and things like that. And I did say that I will eventually get one of those or maybe even both of them to compare them to. Uh, but they are pretty expensive. Uh, the good ones that, that I want to try out, like they're like a hundred, 200 bucks. Uh, so maybe one day, maybe one day I'll pick one up or maybe even both of them and we'll compare it to a budget option like this. I also have a Cinco, not the number not single de mayo kind of thing it's sync like syncing up audio and co it's supposed to be a pun i guess uh but i have another one of these uh microphones 3.5 millimeter options and i'm gonna do a video on that uh i've had issues with it because it runs on batteries uh the batteries don't really sit well so i gotta make sure they sit in there and it's properly powered uh which maybe that could be a uh, option for putting into the Zoom F6. I don't know, but uh, I can tell you that my tests for using it with the Zoom F6 with the conversions that I have and the adapters didn't work very well. So keep that in mind. And this test, well, here you go, is a booth with a $20 mic. Let's go to the untreated room and then eventually go outside where I feel like this microphone would be used mostly. Okay, so this is our untreated room. Uh, I am doing a typical vlogging style with holding the camera and having the microphone on top of said camera with a light as well. So that if you're in a situation where you need a light and a microphone all together, this is what you're gonna hear. Probably a lot of reflections off the walls. This room does have a lot of stuff in it, so it does help the reflections, but it's still an untreated room, quote unquote. Rug underneath me, but there is a wood floor, so just so you know, and uh, pretty much this is how it's going to be with a fan going on. There's literally a fan right here with a 10-foot ceiling. So it's right up against, well, not right up against it, but it's close. So there is your example. Let me turn off the fan and give you an example of how it is without the fan. So the fan's off now. So you don't have that wind and that noise from the fan going off. And this is going to be your, an example of what you're going to hear in this room and how the microphone performs. I listened to a little bit of it from the previous sections in the studio. It's okay. It's, it's a $30 microphone. That's what it is. It's no more, no less. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to go outside. But before we go outside, I want to do a quick comparison. I'll do this outside as well to the internal camera of the 77D and see if you might not need it. If your camera can give you good audio compared to a $30 one, save the money and maybe even save up for a nice one. I'm thinking, thinking of getting a Deity uh, D3 Pro, I think it's called. It's like 200 bucks, but as far as the microphones are concerned for on top of the camera, there are a bunch that are quote unquote professional vlogging ones and they're all around $200 and the Deity might be the one that I go for. Uh, there's Rode, there's Sure, so I'm still doing some research. If you have any suggestions, down in the comments. Okay, so quick test with the internal microphone on the 77D. Uh, if you want any other examples, I have a A5100 uh, Sony, so if you want to hear the internal on that or the preamp or quote unquote preamp for the microphone on that one, let me know. I'll do a, a follow up video to this with the uh, newer microphone. Also, 
Remember, give me any suggestions for top of the microphone, top of the, how we say that, top of the camera microphones for vlogging and things like that with a 3.5 millimeter jack uh, to put it into the camera. So uh, maybe one day I'll do some vlogging and maybe one day I'll actually make that a thing. I don't know. I'm not really big into vlogging. I'm not uh, that kind of personality, but maybe I could be. Maybe growing as a person and growing as a social butterfly quote unquote i don't know i'll know i don't know what i'm saying it's getting hot out and i'm losing my mind uh let's go outside maybe it's a little less hot all right so i'm outside right now with the newer microphone and has the muff on the dead cat and a decently windy day so i guess a nasty day is okay for this kind of scenario because it gives the wind muff a chance to show what it's got uh you also have uh my sister's dog barking its head off and uh, he's not happy about being in his pen, but uh, there's no one else home, so he has to be in there for a little bit. So, this is what it's going to sound like outside, and I'm about, I don't know, maybe a foot away from the microphone right now with a 10 millimeter. Actually, I'm about 12 right now. If I go like that, that's 10 right now, so there's that. And if we go a little bit further away, if you go more like a, like a 14 and you go like arm's length, this is what it's going to sound like. The dog is losing his freaking mind. I swear. You're probably hearing all of that, which is fine. Some traffic in the background. A little bit of real world scenarios that you might want to deal with. And uh, we're going to do a quick test with the internal microphone. Just a quick uh, A and B scenario. All right. So this is the internal microphone of the 77D. And we are at uh, 14 millimeters right now. If I go a little bit tighter. This is what you're going to hear with the microphone about a foot away and we're going to extend it a little bit more. Go to 14 right now, fully extended about a foot and a half, maybe two feet away and this is what you're going to hear. Uh, a lot of background noise, some wind and that's what it's going to be like. Let's go back inside out of the rain and uh, hopefully away from the dog barking. <laughs> so yeah, in short, if you're using this in close proximity, like it is right now, about a foot away, sure, it's fine. You can put it on a boom and make sure it's about a foot away and it'll work okay. It sounds a lot better. In the untreated room and outside, it sounded actually pretty good other than the background noise, which I reduced a little bit with the denoiser. So you got that going for you. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not much into vlogging, but if you are into vlogging and you want to do something like this, uh, maybe your phone might be better. Uh, I will do a video in the future if this does well um, on comparing this microphone with a DSLR to your phone because everyone has a phone that's capable of doing video and audio and we'll see how it is. So thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you liked the video, please hit the like button down below and consider subscribing for more videos that are going to be coming out in the future. Uh, the Shure SM7B is going to be covered and the ZDM1 is going to be going up against all the microphones that I've covered in the past. Uh, same thing with the Shure SM7B. We are going to be having that go up against everything and it's going to wipe the floor with a lot of them. Uh, maybe, probably not all of them, but a lot of them. <laughs> that thing is awesome. I love that microphone. And if you have any questions, comments, or anything like that, down in the comments section, or you could hop on my stream every weekend. Uh, I stream video games, do dot to dot art, and just hang out, have a good time, listen to stream beats, and pretty much that's it. All I ask is that you just be nice in the comments, nice in the stream uh, chat and everything. That's pretty much it. Um, yeah. And uh, until next time, be safe, be kind, and I'll see you in the next video. Treasure! I found a banana! Or an ancient sex toy. Nope, I'm not- nope, I'm not going to say it. Nope, I'm not going to say it. And my mind has gone to really, really, really weird places.